Hi guys, it's Ash. Today I thought I would give you just a quick look at and into my diaper bag. I have the Fawn Design bag and I love it, but there is a but, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But first let me just show you what's in there. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, that's because my kids are playing. And I'm just going to go ahead and film this for you really quick. My bag has this large front zippered pocket, which I do use all the time. And let me show you what's in there right now. My phone and some random Target receipts, which is totally typical. Sometimes you might also find my lip gloss in there as well. There's also this larger open top pocket. I tend to not want to put my phone in there all the time because I like to know my phone is zipped in, but I do sometimes use this to just slide my phone in when I'm out and about, but I know I'm needing to get my phone in and out for something. Or anything that I just kind of need to stick somewhere tends to end up in here. So let's see what's in here right now. Just a hair bow that my daughter was probably wearing when we were out somewhere, and then um, we took off and I just put in there for safekeeping. There are also external side pockets. Now, I don't tend to keep anything in these pockets, and that is one of the big buts when I said but, as in I love this bag, but, is that I don't find these external side pockets to be very functional, and I'm sad because I love side pockets. These can kind of fit a water bottle, like my son's, um, he uses those Contigo bottles. I can get one of these in there, but it's really tight. And then if there's anything packed in the bag, it's too tight to get in and out and I don't find it to be convenient. Hanging from the side here, I just have a hand sanitizer. And I also have a little jujube. In the little passy pod, I tend to keep extra garbage bags for if I change a poopy diaper and we're at someone's house, I like to wrap the diaper in the garbage bag before I put it in their trash. And these are just bags that I don't buy or anything. These are just... Target or Kroger or whatever or grocery bags that we happen to have. I'll just keep them stuffed in there for That or if you know somebody needs to change their clothes I do have a wet bag inside my bag, which I'll show you but if there's a really big mess I'll, I like to bag it before I put it in my wet bag and Seeing my sanitizer here reminds me that in this pocket. I often have a little um just a little packet of those wet ones. I like to use them for shopping carts and things like that, especially this time of year, but I am all out, so I need to replenish that. Let's get up to the big inside of the bag. I love how wide this bag opens, and I love that since it is kind of a thicker pleather, it stays somewhat upright. It doesn't just flop down, and you can fit so much in here, and that's the thing that I love so much about this is that it doesn't look enormous, but there is so much in here. Let me just go ahead and show you what's in here. All of this was inside the bag, you guys. A winter coat for my daughter. As I'm sure, or I hope all of you know, you're not really supposed to put a coat on your kids when they're in the car seat. So my kids don't usually wear their coats when we're leaving our house because we're usually just shuttling them out to the car really quick. But I like to have a coat either if we're somewhere that we're going outside, obviously, or if we're parked really far away from a store. I like to put her in the coat before we go in. Just I also like to have a coat on hand because I always think about emergencies and I think if somehow we were to break down with my kids in the car and it's the winter time, I would want to have coats for them. So I generally have this coat in there. It's really nice. It squishes down really small. Like, I mean, somehow it was in there and hardly taking up any room. Diapers, obviously. We use the Honest diapers. My kids have really sensitive skin and these have been the ones we've found to work the best for us. And I will admit, I love the little prints. I mean, how cute is that reindeer? Wipes, obviously. Every mom's gotta have her wipes. Use them for everything. Wipe, just whatever, you know, wiping needs. We really like these seventh generation wipes. They're the free and clear, so they're unscented. And they're also one of the few wipes that's really safe to use on faces, which is great because I do totally use these for wiping my kids' faces. And honestly, I use them for wiping my makeup off sometimes as well. Next, we've got snacks. Gotta have snacks. 
I like to keep some snacks in a reusable snack tower sometimes, but right now I just have some kind of prepackaged snacks. Laura bars are one of my favorites for me, and my kids also love them. I also have some Annie's Bunny Grams back there and an applesauce pouch, so we are ready in case the snacking needs to happen. I also like to keep some toys. I've got a little Sesame Street Oscar the Grouch right now. My daughter loves to hold these sort of little figurines. And this baby Einstein take-along tunes has been one of her favorite things forever. I'm actually really surprised at the longevity of this toy. She got this, I believe it was actually last Christmas. And most of the toys that she was into at that age, she's now moved beyond. But there's just something about this she still loves. I keep it in my bag so that when we're out and about, if she's really getting kind of sad, or if we're in the car and I'm not able to get to her and she's really down, this will really cheer her up. So this has really been a lifesaver, and I highly, highly would recommend having one of these on hand for your baby if they love it, like mine does. I also have this little pacifier clip. Um, we don't actually use pacifiers. I tried them with both my kids, but they just didn't take to them. But I love this clip anyway for holding a toy and then clipping it onto the stroller if we're out and about. Because I really, I just, for me, losing something is one of the worst things that, get, that can happen. It just, it gets me so down. And this has really saved us from losing a lot of toys over, the, over time. I also have this teething necklace, which I don't usually wear as a necklace. But I keep it as another one of those emergency toys that will lift people out of their sad spirits. I think it works really well because it's not really something they're supposed to have, obviously, unsupervised with, like, the string and everything. And you all know, kids love the things they're not supposed to have the most. So when we really need something, I'll pull this out and let her play with it, supervised, of course, and she loves it. I also have this little wet brush just in case my daughter's hair or my son's hair needs some fixing because, you know, hair, hair can get wild. And my battery's flashing, so I'm going to go fast, fast, fast. So this pineapple blanket. It's actually one of the little unicorn prints that I love so much. And I just like to have this out and about with us. Obviously, my daughter is past the swaddling age. But what I use this for is if we need a diaper change, I'll lay this down on, like, a carpet to change her. I don't like to use the changing stations in bathrooms because they're disgusting. And I don't carry a diaper change pad with me anymore. I also use this if I need to create kind of a little cabana around myself if I'm breastfeeding and I want to to have a little bit of shelter or a sunshade or something like that. So this is just, you know, a multi-purpose blanket and also obviously it could be used as a blanket if we need to. Here is my wet bag. I believe this is by Itsy Ritzy. I love this print with the pineapples and the palm fronds and the flamingos. Like I'm just, I'm kind of obsessed with these things as you may have started to realize as you've been following along and seeing the kind of stuff that I have. But I always keep a wet bag so, you know, if there's an accident and my kids have to change clothes, into the bag it goes. And if we're at a restaurant and they're eating things, get dirty, into the bag it goes. Because I don't like to put anything dirty directly into my bag. So I always try to take care of my bags. I do keep an extra set of clothes and restaurant things and things like that usually in my car. Or situationally, I'll pack a bag for eating out. Which I'll show you another time what I pack when we're going out to eat. But this is just sort of a general, in case something happens, bag that I like to keep all the time. The other thing I have in here is, of course, my wallet. This is the Jujube. I really like this palm print. I think it's called Palm Beach or something like that. And I keep a little coach wristlet in there. And then I also keep some receipts and stuff, and I really like having this so I can just sort of grab it out of the bag and go. And that was everything in there. And that stuff was not in the pockets. I don't tend to put very much into the pockets down in here. Let me see if I can focus a little better. The lighting's obviously really poor going, you know, into the bag. Because these pockets just, they're not really big enough to slip very much stuff into. So sometimes I'll try to get super organized and put, like, the little pacifier clip and the teething necklace in one and the snacks in another. But honestly, that was stressing me out. And that's the big but I was going to talk about. When I first got this bag and I was trying to pack it up in a super organized way, it was really stressing me and I ended up not liking it and actually carrying a different bag for a while until I realized what I love about this bag is just that I can just kind of put everything in there and it's like, it's chaos, but it's organized chaos because I sort of know how I've layered it in the bag. 
that's something that sounds to me like it would drive me crazy because I'm a person that loves to have a place for everything and everything in its place. But honestly, since I figured out that with this bag, I could just kind of fit everything in, I feel so free. It's so much better than it was before. Sometimes if I'm out with my camera, I put my camera in. I have a little um, soft sort of insulated case for my camera and I'll put that in this big open top pocket in the back. If I have something that's really important to me that I don't lose, like if I take off a piece of jewelry or something like that, or just something small that I don't wanna like lose track of, I'll put it in this interior zip pocket and that's really great. And then this bag has an adjustable top strap. It's that sort of seat belt webbing material. I almost never use this strap because I find it so much more convenient to use the other straps, which are the backpack straps. Style-wise, I never thought that I would really be into a backpack, but having two kids, I've found that having hands-free and being able to just throw this on my back or sling it over one shoulder is so, so good. So lately, I am totally loving this bag. So there you have it. That is what's in my diaper Thank bag. Thank you so much for watching this video. Mm -hmm.